the 21st of November and uh, let's go and see what's been happening on our house. So from the front uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff down the side here. The uh, excavation crew have been very busy and uh, we're basically uh, almost done with the digging. You can see one window. Uh, there would be a window behind there except it's covered up. And a, uh, another window into the basement you can see. Step over all the junk here. Now, this is the back of the house, and uh, essentially the basement uh, has uh, all been dug out. The um, floor of the basement is level, and they've got gravel on it, and uh, there's some agricultural pipe underneath, ready to um, almost ready to pour concrete. So I have to put a plastic sheeting on top, and then put uh, reinforcing bars before the concrete can be poured. You can see they've uh, largely rebuilt the wall uh, at the basement level and uh, they've prepared some concrete uh, footings to um, uh, the new steps against this uh, new reinforcing wall that's just been built this week. Uh, between us and our neighbour, uh, you'll notice some little uh, wooden bracing, and indeed there's huge cracking up there. We had some subsidence a little while ago. And uh, we're, we're safe now. We're just arguing about the cost of um, the concrete between us and our neighbour. So it's fortunately been very uh, understanding, so um, that's good. Uh, still dealing with a lot of water issues. Uh, there's puddles down there. You can see the builders have got a pump set up to uh, take the water away from the area that they're working in. So um, let's go have a look on the inside. It's going to be a little bit blurry for just a second. So it's a lovely day for November. Relatively warm. Uh, Lan is uh, working in the garden. We planted some bulbs yesterday. <laughs> she's looking for a rake, but she's uh, got some other tool that the builder has left behind. So let's uh, go on in. So uh, nothing much to see in here. The uh, temporary platform for the um, uh, side wall bracing is uh, still in place. Get that down. Now uh, there will be some steps in this area, but uh, presently we're just going to take the ladder. Let's uh, go on down. Now there's a uh, pit here, which is going to be have the uh, permanent sump pump in it. Anyway, let's have a uh, look around. So we are now in the basement. We've got the back door to the basement. And uh, you can see the well, we've got a lot of tools and stuff down here and indeed the pipe. Oh, it's rather like a fire hose with the um, water from the temporary pit out the back. And uh, we've got some interesting stuff down here. We're not actually going to build a bathroom or indeed any sort of um, finish the space, but we're getting some pipes uh, put in so that uh, at a later date that is going to be possible. So we've got uh, uh, the possibility of a kitchen, the bathroom, a little flat down here. We're trying to make this legal. Uh, we're not going to do anything that would preclude this from being a legal unit. Uh, and indeed these windows are going to be big enough to um, make them a legal escape route. And uh, over in the corner, you can't really tell, but anyway, it's completely dug out to match the outside wall. We've got concrete underpinning all the way around. And uh, we had uh, the bit that subsided, I'm just going to blur this a bit. The bit that subsided was uh, over in this corner. We uh, had a big crack open up actually in the wall between us and our neighbour. And uh, that was pretty worrying. So, um, yeah, the, the water seems to be coming in at the back, basically. We don't know where it's coming from, but it is. So, let's uh, quickly head upstairs.
so that's the blurriness. Now the main thing I want you to see is the window uh, was taken out uh, some time ago when the subsidence occurred. You can see the uh, back wall has got a huge crack in it, so the villa is actually going to replace, rebuild this wall, which is good as beyond repair. Other than that, uh, no change upstairs. Waiting for the um, back wall to be completed and the um, shell sealed, so no point in doing anything on the inside until the outside is sealed, because at the moment anyone can just walk in. So that concludes uh, this week's update. Thanks a lot. Bye.